guys. Okay, so today I have got a concealer video for you. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Okay, um, I tried the NYX um, Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation and did not like it. It was, it just was not good. It was like too drying, too cakey. They had a million colors and that was great and wonderful, but it just looks so bad on my skin. Um, I, and I don't even think I could really recommend it for anybody because I have pretty combination skin and it just is I've got really dry patches and I have really oily places as well so um, I don't even think I could recommend it for someone who has oily skin if it works for you fantastic it just did not work for me anyway so we're gonna try the can't stop won't stop concealer and just we'll just see <laughs> if this is gonna do treat me better than the, the foundation did all right so here we go um, I've got a, a foundation video to do in a little bit, so I'm just going to do the dark eye and we're just going to see. Um, this is not the lightest shade. This one is the shade Natural. And it wasn't the lightest shade, but uh, again, as I always say, we don't always get the lightest shade because if you get a little bit of a darker shade, it serves to correct and conceal. And I only have a brush today because I uh, didn't plan well at all. Okay, let's just see. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like that's giving pretty good coverage, not amazing coverage, and it's, I mean, it's a little bit deceiving because it's a darker shade. So I might have even been able to go one step up on this for shade and still have it be better or good for color correcting. Um, give you guys a little bit of a close up. This is not like cr cakey, crusty, dry. It actually looks a lot better than I was expecting it. Um, it feels like it might set down, so it might dry a little bit. So we'll just see. Um, let me put a little bit more. I feel like if I went one shade up, it might be like the perfect shade because, I mean, this has okay coverage, but it's not like amazing coverage. So. I feel like it is blending nicely though and it's looking nice on my skin. It's not looking crusty and that is always a plus. So there you go. It's a first impression. I'm not like wowed, completely wowed by it, but it's not bad. Um, and it is like you can see the difference in color between the actual concealer and my skin so it does have some coverage and it is putting some color on my skin um, but as you can tell like I don't feel like it's offering a lot of coverage I, I feel like it's offering color but not coverage so um, I don't know um, as a first impression I wouldn't run out and get this um, I was really trying to give this like the most positive review I can because I feel like I'm so hard on cosmetics all the time that nothing is ever good enough for me. <laughs> but um, at this point, let me see, it just says concealer. There aren't really any claims on it. Um, so if you just need a, uh, let me see what the price was. This was $8 at Target, eight fifty. And I just think that's a lot of money for a, just an average concealer, which is what I would consider this. Um, it does have like some light reflection, so if that's what you're looking for and you just need an average concealer, you might like this. Um, but for me, I'm just going to have to say this is probably a no-go. I will wear it for the rest of the day though, and I will update my thoughts in the description or in the comments or whatever. And um, that's all I got for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.